Today we'll show you how dangerous lithium batteries can be. We have such a huge lithium battery from an e-bike. Now we'll see how hard it explodes. This video was created to warn you about how several dangerous light electric vehicles can be. We'll start with the smallest lithium battery from Nikos. For clarity of the experiment, we'll tie this small battery where it should be, that is, right next to the mouth. By the way, get acquainted, this is our new mini mannequin, let's call him Vasily. All these electronic cigarettes, vapes. We don't know much about them. I wonder if it will survive or not. Guys, write in the comments. Do you think such a small battery can do any significant harm to it? I think yes. Imagine something like that explodes near your mouth. The moment of person has come, we are just going to disturb it, physical condition a little, just burst it. Like this, right? Yes, just burst it halfly. The process started. Yeah, damn, the smoke came off and that's it? No, no. It's still on. Look, this is how it can be with a person when he smokes electronic cigarettes. Watch what happens, look! He started smoking. What a smoke, but there is no fire. So do you think it's safe? I don't know. Look, it melted. It would already be a burn. Yes, but it didn't blow up surprisingly, guys. Watch out! Wow! What a sudden burst of smoke! And the smoke continues! We got some strange kind of battery, I suppose. Why it behaves this way? I don't know, usually they explode. Let's check it out. It seems that it has already vaporized. Everything's hot here. It could actually burn your face. It would be a first or second degree burn. It's very hot. Yes, look what happened to it. It just released the gas, got very hot. You see, it just changed color. So we dispose they use product properly, don't worry about it, guys. And the next in the line is a pocket power bank. Do you know, guys, how to disassemble these power banks? It's sealed. It's like a one-time use. It's impossible to open it. No, here's a joint. We'll open it along it. I want you to know what kind of battery is there. Do you think it's really 10,000 million pairs or it's fake? I think the Chinese made it out of some garbage. But it's red meat, branded and of high quality. Do you think Xiaomi makes good products? I think so. Okay, let's check it out now. Mascuda was a Xiaomi one, which the police took away. From Xiaomi? Yes. Well, we're all back for them, guys. Okay, come on. It's glued there. Doesn't matter, just break off a small piece. He's cutting it with an axe. Make sure it don't cut off your hand. Ahead of time, right? We'll grip it to his hand, see what cool hand we found in the store. It's amazing. Today you can estimate how many flanks and how many fingers will be torn off from the mannequin. That's it, I opened it. This is what we'll see inside. Look, there are no 18650 cells. But a one good one. Yes. It's really 16,000, seems like it's not fake. Well, let's put it in hand. Go for it. Never repeat what you are about to see. Remember, we are professionals. So, we can. Yes, we can. It should be in every car. So do you suggest putting it down and hitting it like that? Look what a powerful defense there is, Alex. Where? Do you think it's very thick? Yes. No, look, it's thin enough. Come on. Great, now get it out. Damn. Well, there is protection too. It didn't fix shorted circuit, but it was close. Yes, hold it. Try it again, you see, shorted circuit isn't fixed. Yes, hit it. <laughs> Holy shit! Damn! See what's happening? Whoa! Damn, almost everything flew into me. You saw how it exploded. There is a magma, look. Wow, everything melted. I wouldn't want this to happen with my hand. It has ignited, check out what happened with the stick, look how it burned out. Take a look at the hand. Yes, get it out, it's plastic. Here, look. This is what the destruction would be. It would be a first or second degree burn for sure. There is no traumatic phalanx amputation. Skin grafting is not needed, but it'll take three to four weeks to heal. If a power bank or phone starts to heat up, then immediately put it away from you. Because this can lead to very sad consequences. What kind of metal here? It's copper and aluminium. Can all this be handed over for scrap metal? Yes. <laughs> Hot Cooper. Wow, you can actually warm up from this. And check out the penetration from the nail. 
Yes, if you unwind it without burning, then you can give it for copper and aluminium. And what about lithium? There is no lithium. Don't do this at home. This is really dangerous. Friends, I'm getting more and more into the work of my new desimeter spectrometer radio card. It's amazing that such a reasonable device can so easily determine which substance is emitting radiation. We just bring it to what we want to measure and the device draws the radiation spectrum. Then we click on the pixel of the spectrum and the program shows the type of isotope. For example, we see cesium-137 in mushrooms collected in place where the Chernobyl ring fell. For example, the key product of plutonium and americium-241 from the smoke detector. Natural source of radiation potassium-40 from conversional fertilizer. And even the natural radioactive gas radon from the basement that I collected on the cotton ball using a vacuum cleaner. I will leave a link to the device in the description. We'll dispose all this properly and now we'll move on to the scariest and larger city bike battery ever. I'm scared to imagine what will happen to it. We'll try to purse this cell, the last one, and you will see the rest of it light up or not. There are elements of Samsung, I think it sees something in general, let's see if they will, on contrary, be of high quality. Let's start the experiment. Yes, it started, it's begun, look guys! We've just pierced it a little. It's like going down the curb on a bicycle and catching onto it a little. Is there something? I don't know. You see, it has increased a little, changed its color and smokes a little. It has heated up, but the reaction didn't go. Do you think we need to purse this again? I don't know. Let's try. Is that all? Yes. That's it. You see? They don't explode? It can't be. Is it hot? It's a little warm. Well, guys, let's try to purge the other. For some reason, they don't explode. Come on. Yeah, keep hitting. What the hell? Damn, what was that? What happened? I probably pierced three of them. Now they'll all start to explode. You think so? Yes. Well, this is some kind of reactive force. I think it was one, just the shorted circuit was fixed. Yes. The plastic is burning, but the others may start to explode after it, see it's flaring up. Let's put it out with a fire extinguisher. Whoa, I think it's too late to put out. Yeah, we can't. Hope the camera survives. They won't start flying? I don't know. <laughs> Damn! I set the camera to close, I'm afraid to touch it, to be honest. Forget the camera, we need to first drive the car away. You see, when it's inside the scooter... There is more temperature. Yeah, the temperature rises and they all immediately start to explode. And when it's outside, they explode one by one. Yes, one by one. Because no pressure builds up. Shall we try to put it out? I think it's dangerous. <laughs> and I was going to put it off. <laughs> We also put a fire extinguisher nearby. <laughs> Guys, we put the fire extinguisher nearby and now we're afraid to go there. Do you still want to put it out? Okay, go for it! Come on, come on! It's done. Good fire extinguisher. They finally come down, looks like four cells have exploded, but the smoke is still on. I don't think they'll explode anymore. Do you think it won't explode anymore? Damn, what are you doing? Put it out! It doesn't help, you see? Need something special. Why is the flame so powerful? What happened? Are you hiding? We need to drive the car away. Ah! Hurry up, drive the car away. It just explodes hard. Well, guys, I didn't expect that. Our fire extinguisher couldn't stop it, we tried. There is a water there in the lake. 
Need to wipe off the camera, there is dust on it. Wow! Take the camera away. I think this is a bad idea. It's simply burning out. Wow, how come it didn't fly away? Look, the face is on fire. Oh my god, it's shooting up. Can you imagine if this happens in the apartment? Need to wipe off the camera somehow. Look at the hand, how it caught fire. Poor little hand. Did you see how it jumped off? A piece flew off. Yeah, something went wrong. Look, it's lava inside. It's right on the camera. My poor camera. Gosh, look what's going on. Oh my god, a piece from it flew right over here. Look what's there. Quickly put it out or something will light up now. We didn't expect the burned pieces to fly away like that. You put it out, look, it's Cooper. This is really dangerous. Can you imagine if a child's scooter explodes like that? See, the pieces fly again. It's heavy stuff. Let's try to put it out. Is there something to water? Poor camera, I hope it recorded something down. Isn't it combustible? See what color it is. What if they are some spirit? Over. Well done, you put it out. Tim, what did you do? It light up again? I didn't do anything. It just burns and doesn't extinguish. It's a nightmare. The fire seems to not end. We can't put it out. What to do? It seems now it finally extinguished. There's still smoke. See how the piece is torn up. It must be disposed of. Need to take it to the landfill of solid household waste. Alex, the camera is over. Look. Holy shit, what's burning? Nothing. The main thing is that the guard is saved. It's very hot. Yeah, grab it and get off the battery just in case. Damn, why did you put it back? I put out the fire completely. Why did it go crazy again? I don't know. Guys, we'll put it out, but it burns again. You saw it yourself, it's very dangerous. It needs to be extinguished with something special. Guys, we're urgently going to collect water from the lake. We have thought of everything. There is a fire pond nearby. Do you hear how everything explodes there? Do you hear what's going on there? Why it doesn't come down in any way? It feels like the battery explodes in the second circle. That's it, you put it out a little. Need to water constantly. Write in the comments which fire extinguisher are the best for extinguishing lithium batteries, guys. Well, because dry powered extinguisher couldn't do it. It seems to go out and then it starts again. In my opinion, everything has gone out. That was hard stuff, guys. Look what happened to them. This part probably from another batch, they were not to turn apart. See, they are all in place. The BMS board is actually the protection board that was supposed to protect the battery from an explosion. What's with the fire extinguisher? Probably it was needed to turn it upside down, because half of the powder remained here. Guys, look what happened to our GoPro camera. What is it? A bubble appeared in the place of the display. <laughs> I'll touch it here. Some pieces have melted down. Yeah, let's try to turn it on. Who knows if suddenly it works. Whoa, it worked. You can even see everything. Even the recording is working. The lens is unlikely to be cleaned anymore. What to do with it? Change the glass? <laughs> this turns out to be a tough camera. It survived. See how the hand is cracked, and this is a piece of the hat. Horrible, do you see how the nickel tape is swollen? See, in the metal, this is from the explosion. Look at the consequences as we extinguish them. <gasps> Whoa! That's a fourth degree burn. 
Here you see, although they still banned, here you can still restore it, but here you need a skin transplant, transdermal autoimmune plastic surgery. The finger will be like this, and there will be such a scar, there will be a contracture like this. That's terrifying. We'll give it all to the super suits, he will give it for the metal scrap. Those that are discharged, guys, they end once, they melted a little, but didn't explode. I deliberately took the discharged ones to check if they exploded or not. That's why China sent them by mail almost discharged, so that they don't catch fire like this at the post office. Well, remember, if the battery is charged, it can be considered a bomb. This could happen to it. The most annoying thing is that they most often light up when charging, when you put the screw or charge in your room and go for a walk. Or sleep, God forbid. Be careful with the lithium batteries to avoid physical damage. Didn't see it on your smartphones, because the battery could bend, short circuit and explode as you saw. Because it's really dangerous, you'll spend time in the hospital and not in the fresh air. Yes.